as easy as one, two, three, perhaps not quite, but the maths exam these pupils in South London sat today needs to be tougher, according to ministers. Those who'd just finished the one and three quarter hour paper weren't so sure. Making it harder is going to change a lot and it, and it makes us feel that what we're doing is, is sort of easy and we've got the easy road when we haven't, clearly. Do you think it was a bit of a breeze? Um, yes, but only because I worked really hard. I revised numerous hours a day. Michael Gove had hoped to scrap GCSEs entirely, but has settled for reforming them instead. Pupils in England will have less coursework and fewer modules, instead taking exams at the end of two years. The new GCSE will be graded by numbers from 1 to 8, rather than the current letters A star to G. In maths, pupils will study more algebra, statistics and probability, while in English literature, they'll study at least one Shakespeare play and a 19th century novel. Young people in this country deserve an education system that can compete with the best in the world, a system which sets and achieves higher expectations. Announcing these reforms right in the middle of the exam season hasn't exactly endeared the Education Secretary to either teachers or pupils, but he insists these reforms are necessary and they're not just change for change's sake. But the head teacher here says more upheaval is the last thing schools need. We could be in a situation where there's been so much ill-informed reform that as we approach the next election we're looking at a really chaotic situation in terms of qualification provision. With pupils taking exams right now, wasn't the timing also rather insensitive? We're not telling children that they, what they are doing is worthless or not fit for purpose. Well, you We're are. saying That's the system. Said. We are saying to students that you've been let down by the system, you've been let down by, as students were last summer, by a system that's not effective. That system is now facing radical change change which some feel is long overdue, but for others remains a distraction from the real business of teaching and learning. There is concern that in future the system will become much more fragmented. Scotland already has different qualifications, but in future Wales and England will be going their separate ways with Wales keeping the current GCSEs. Nevertheless, Michael Gove seems determined to push through these reforms. It's his third attempt. Originally, he wanted to reintroduce a two-tier system with O-levels as the gold standard. That was thwarted by the Liberal Democrats. Then he went for the EBAC. Apparently, teachers thought that that would be unworkable, excluding uh, art and sports from the curriculum. Well, now he wants to see these reforms go through because he believes there must be more rigour.